Hey, man. Wow. I cannot believe we did this. That is a lot of stuff here. What is it, six bins that we ended up doing? Six, six bins, bins, some bo a box of stuff, and then like... And then some box goods? Some box stuff. Like that almost new Nintendo? That's amazing. Oh my god, that's crazy. Hey. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey! hey. What? What's going on? <laughs> that was weird. Uh, everything's weird around here. <laughs> Hey we're guys! Dungeon. Yeah, we're down in Jeff's dungeon. Dun We've never filmed in Jeff's dungeon. It's not a real dungeon, but it's a corner of my basement. Well, there's some weird stuff over there. Don't worry about over there. Okay. Right. Don't worry about over there right now. Right. Okay. Deal with that another day. <laughs> so hey guys, Last Game Hunter and Jeff. And today we are going to do the most biggest pickups video ever. Move back a little bit. I'm gonna move I'm back gonna a little bit. bit. So guys, yeah, what, I'm, I'm even better peak. Oh, better peak? Better peak. Well, there's the other bins. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy pickup, guys. We have no idea what the game count is yet. We will physically do that after. Um, but what we did was we decided to buy a lot. Now, normally we don't do that. Well, we usually, not, not, maybe not this much. Yeah, this is our biggest buy to date. Yeah. So again, so we'll find out. our biggest purchase um, we're not going to try and show every single thing because we don't want to really bore you for three hours or more. This is really nice though. This is You'll really have to nice. Show that. You'll have to show that. We'll show that. So guys, please sit back, grab some popcorn, some <laughs> soda, maybe some diet soda because sugar will just make you go crazy and then you'll probably flip and go to another video. Our aspartame makes you crazy though. Aspartame does make you crazy because I drink a lot of it. Yeah. And look at me. I'm nuts. Do what we got. All right. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to show the bigger items. So we yep. get this out of our way and this is the bigger stuff slide not, it down. Not in the bins. So this not is in the bins. what didn't fit in bins or we didn't want to, you know, try to squish into a bin because there's a couple pretty cool things in here. Yeah, some of it we did not want to make any marks, dents, or dings and you'll see why. This one, not as big of a worry, <laughs> just didn't happen to fit. I'll uh, just the box we wanted. Here. Yeah, I got this guy. This wasn't actually part of the whole deal. Um, I just got added in afterwards because we were going through uh, the guy's room, I think, trying to find a couple of loose things. And so I had, you know, the box for the Halo 3 Special Edition 360. I know I need the hard drive for them. Um, but. So if you have that 20 gig hard drive for the Halo Special Edition, comment below. We need it. I, you need one too, actually. I right? need one too. So yeah. Inside it's got. Oh, huh. In, inside there's a <laughs> purple GameCube. So. Actually, we knew that was there. We put that in. Yeah, we did put that in there. But, surprise! Surprise. <laughs> However, though, just a second ago when I pulled that out, I happened to do this, which we hadn't done, and oh, there was a game inside. It was, what game uh, is it? Soul Calibur 2. Soul Calibur 2. Not a bad so, game. Can't go wrong with that. No. Nope. We'll, uh, what? What is this? That was another thing I got added on. This is what we went up to, upstairs for. because so this is one of the things when we were up in the room? Well, not this. This was what's inside we went up for and he was like oh you might as well have this too and we're like okay yeah. cool that original xbox carrying case got oh. vents and everything for the, the bottle yeah it was meant oh, to okay. be played in the bag that does not sound very good for cooling no but it does have all the venting it's yeah. the back the front the sides right, the yeah it's all vented yeah. so this was technically a portable play out of the bag carry everything kind of case the case alone is cool, extremely cool, Powerful. and we're happy to have scored it. A little touch. Well, a little slow. Almost dropped it. Don't drop it. Don't do that again. A little slow sometimes. Look at that. A little dusty. A little dusty, but uh, crystal blue Xbox. Didn't with have a this one. sticker. That is awesome. Open, open. Nope. Never opened. Crystal blue Xbox. The bottom's really nice. Eh? Now we're gonna have to test it, but see what disc is left inside. See what disc is left because you never know what game's in there. Maybe it's a uh, Barbie Horse Adventure. Maybe it's Barbie Horse Adventure because that is like the best game ever. Because my daughter, if she doesn't hear me say that, I'm gonna get hurt. Wasn't that the one that got you trapped inside a console? Or I got trapped in that game. Yeah, Power Glove and you it. got to play my game. Yeah. 
stupid power glove. <laughs> so, <laughs> you remember the story with this one? Show it. Show them the the wonder that is Donkey Kong Country. Pog. 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 Yes. Pog. Guys, I don't even know what the hell Pog is. I don't remember really. I remember them when I was young, and it was a little round throw it on the game, round kind of upgraded version of Jacks, probably. It was one of those. Hey, if you're buying all this, you might as well take this too. And I was thinking. No. No, and I was like, Okay, there was a couple things in this lot that both of us were kind of gritty for. Yeah. Nintendo Boy, Sega Boy, Nintendo Sega. Two Sega. Two Sega. One and done Not so excited about the Genesis box. As we all know, we can get those pretty, pretty easily. But that Nintendo Control Deck, it is almost mint. If you'll notice the glare because it still has the plastic on it however it has been opened but it was fairly carefully opened and just this end cut basically it was an older guy that ended up getting the system uh, and when I say older I'm meaning probably like 70 75 year old guy he had no real intention to play it but somehow got opened other than that the machine is mint the controllers honestly did not look used at all then we came across the Sega Game Gear, you guys know that I love collecting for Sega, especially the portable. It, to me, is a forgotten system that people just kind of brushed off, and I had to have that excited me. So when I seen that, I was like, hey, basically it's just a box, there's a case inside the system and a few games. Case but overall, really nice. yeah, the case is really nice. Pop that guy open real quick. Overall, this is in really, really, really good shape. Yeah, and the front's... The box is a little, but I mean, come on. No, it's, it's still nice. It's still great. But look at this. How many for how many boxes do you find for this, though? No, I, it's my first time. Yeah. So guys, I, I, it's a great pickup for me. Is that the same case you got off me? Uh, is uh, I had this case originally when I bought mine. It was the Sonic 2, and like every stupid system back then, <laughs> they cut off the UPC code. Free games, man. Yep, free for games. More. I get it. You collected your UPCs, you got free games. So other than that, I mean, this box is not in bad shape at all. And it was actually a box I still needed as mine was a core system. So yep. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 edition. Sonic Spinball. Yeah, you had the Spinball. I didn't yeah. even know that existed. Yeah, it was Spinball and I think the original Sonic. Take, Take 12. Actually, one. Two. Not for this one. All right, take one for this one. Yeah. Okay, guys, this was a bin that we just had some random stuff thrown into. So in the bin, there was a boxed uh, red Wii complete with the actual door and everything still on it, which was pretty exciting. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to try and just go through these things a little faster because, let's face it, there's a ton of stuff here. And we haven't even started to tip the iceberg. We're not even going to bother with the little stuff. The other thing is in that bin, there's a couple 360 coolers. And yeah, little knickknacks we're not going to even bother showing on camera. This was really, really exciting. PS1, so it's that mini PS1 boxed. This is in great condition. Great condition. Wayne Gretzky's NHL slap shot. What do you think, Jeff? Nice. Who cares? Memory card for the GameCube. I'll put that over gently. Gently, because that's way more important. The Game Boy adapter for the GameCube with the CD, and the CD is actually in really good shape. <laughs> no. No. And you definitely don't want to throw this, because these are hard to find, not even complete, but hard to find working. And it's the game color screen for the GameCube. Funny enough, the exact same color as the GameCube that we got in the whole lot. There's no need for that. Okay, so the last thing in the box, we got a pair of Kodiak work boots. It's really cool because, you know, maybe they'll fit. What size is it? Size 10. Size they might fit you. No. No? 11. Oh. Yeah. 15. Oh, well. 15. So, yeah. so we're going to sell some Kodiak boots. Yeah, so if anybody wants some. Holy cow! Oh! Well, it's not Kodiak boots at all. It is. It's... Super NES games. Oh! There we go! That bin was kind of nice, and we got some manuals here. Of, oh, Wing Commander, one of my favorites. 
Mary All Stars, and so on. So we got manuals. Manuals are good. There's, uh, you know, some Donkey Kong Country, Secret Empire, Star Fox, of course, you know, Zelda, Mario All Stars, all your staples, Donkey Kong Country, uh, anything special in here, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighters, uh, Mario Kart, of course. Boxed, complete Star Fox. Super Mario RPG. Super Mario RPG. Very cool. Uh, does anybody know what this is? Yeah, we want to know what this is. The guy wasn't sure. Says Nintendo on it. Says Nintendo on it. I don't know if you can see it properly. It's a little tiny plastic thing with a little... I thought it was a puller for the N64, but that actually shaped differently. So if anybody knows what that is, comment below. It would be not really for cool. use by children under the age of three, though. So I can't use it, no. That's so, nice. There's Jurassic Parks. There's all kinds of cool games Double in here. Star Fox, Super Mario World. You know, a lot of staples. A lot of... Uh, oh, look. One even has a dust cover. Secret of Mana. One even has a dust cover. A dust cover. That's rare. <laughs> oh, two have dust covers. Ultima. I think maybe we should go through this stuff separately another time. Uncharted, Uncharted Waters. Never go to Uncharted Waters. Yeah, I wonder if that was the, uh, you know, original Sea of Thieves, <laughs> but probably better. <laughs> Not hard to be better. Well, that, that's a whole nother day discussion, that one. Okay, so this is bin check, number... Check baby one, two, three, four, check baby, check baby one, two. Check baby, check baby one. Two. Let's... Two. Bin number two, like the rump. No, no, no. Rump shaker. Rump shaker. Is this bin number two? Is bin it bin number, number two? two? Bin number two. This is yeah, bin number two. Which now, makes sense because we just finished bin number one. Let's uh, take a look at some of the highlights of the bin. Probably the big highlight of the bin. Mystic Quest for Super Nintendo, boxed, and <laughs> I actually never even looked to make sure it was in here. I had no idea. Boxes. It looks really, complete. Very nice. And it is complete. But is it the game? It is. So the complete. Cover. Manuals, everything. Beautiful. Chef Ching. <laughs> then we found this label fell off something. We're not sure what, but it's really oh, it's old. Off and those. It's off these. It's off these. Oh yeah, it fell off one of these pink cases. I know because I always seem to have pink ones. Metal Gear and Mario Brothers. But Mario Brothers by itself, not with Duck Hunt. That's right, Mario Brothers alone. Then we had uh, a bunch of different manuals because chances are there's some games and that's coming real soon. So like Terminator 2, Sega CD, that kind of stuff. Manuals you can never have enough of. We always want manuals. I'm not walking it down. And then there was a 3DS game. Heroes of Ruin. Square Not Enix. complete. Square Enix. Yeah, so kind of a cool game. I actually try that one. I don't yeah. really have much for 3DS to be honest so. I only have three games I think for 3DS. <laughs> I think I have one. I think I have four 3DS's but. The Common Twisted Metal series. Awesome game. PSP. This is cool. Space Invaders to the Extreme. I have to do it. Fuck my handle. <laughs> Flashback! <laughs> Good catch. Thank you. I expected you just to drop it. I've thought about it. Some manuals, Super Mario series. That's cool. Yep. Star Straight. Fox Adventures. Which? Star Fox 64. That's pretty cool. Huh. That's pretty cool. So we're just going to pick just some random GameCube stuff that we put up front. Uh, not going to go through it all. So we have Super Smash Brothers, Melee. Star Fox Adventures. Look at that. The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure. Star Fox Assault. Not bad. Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario Party 5. Hey, look at that. I got Super Mario Party 7. Yeah, I got Odama. Sealed. Very cool. Pikmin 2. Oh yeah? Yeah. Pikmin 1. <laughs> oh yeah? Super Mario Sunshine. Pokemon XD. Super Mario Sunshine. That was yours. <laughs> Harvest Moon? Yeah, that was Harvest Moon. <laughs> Uh, Spyro Hero's Tale. Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Enter the Dragonfly. And then this stuff is kind of another uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 games of. I mean, just random, like two, Super Monkey Ball Adventure. There was two of those. Two Monkey Balls, SpongeBob Army Men, SpongeBob Lord of the Rings. SpongeBob! So then there was a big pile of Wii games. Wii games. 
Baroque. Baroque. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Animal Crossing City Folk. Zelda, Twilight Princess. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Pokey Park 2, never heard of it. No More Heroes. Xenoblade. Original. Original. Well, somehow, I think it was part of something else because it's not the true cover, no. unless the cover's on the inside. Maybe it's a flip cover. And it's a flip cover. Really? The real cover's there. Cool. Nice. Uh, Dragon Quest Swords. Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I wish my memories would get shattered. <laughs> Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. Metro Prime 3 Ooh. Corruption. Final Fantasy, uh, Crystal Barriers. That's very cool. Pandora's Tower. Super Mario All-Star. It's the 25th anniversary edition one. So. Super Mario Galaxy. Wow, that's wicked. Alright. Calling. Which is... I don't know, it looks scary. We got a bunch of other ones here too. I don't really want to go through them all because we'd like Japanese to go through it. Japanese Survival Horror. Japanese Survival Horror. The Japanese scare me, man. They do. So, hey, slap shot. Slap shot. Oh. Yeah. We'll try not to throw it. Uh, anything else in there? That's well, anything? we got like Soul Calibur Legends and stuff. Golden Eye, Mad World, Resident Evil, Aliens. I mean, good games. Not bad. There's some vape, but not bad. I don't know what this is. Ten, 101 Party Mega Oh, Mix. Resident Evil Archives. Dude. Never played it. 101 Party Mega Mix. Party Mega Mix? Sorry. I got carried away. Alright, so uh, Xbox original games here. We have the Phantom Dust just loose by itself. Halo 2 Steel Can. I call it Steel Can. Steel Can? Steel Can. Is it uh, not crushed like that one I got? No, it's got both discs. It looks pretty decent. Dragon Ball Z, Saga 5. No, Saga. I don't know. Sniper Elite. Silent Hill 4, The Room. Dragon's Lair 3D. Fallout, Brotherhood of Steel. Tom Clancy's Trilogy. That's cool. Ooh, a Tom Clancy game. That's yeah, but uncommon. It's, it's a trilogy. Yeah, it's still, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Uh, that is The Wrath of the Cortex. Thief. Deadly Shadow. Oh, there's... Nobody's ever seen Counter-Strike before. Have you? Oh yeah, bro? Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds. You think that's good? Yeah. Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds. What the? Oh, Commando 2. Commandos 2, Men of Courage. Oh, yeah. The most valuable game out of the whole thing, bro. 25 to life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, another Counter-Strike. Hey, I told you nobody's ever seen that before. Blade 2. Uh, Metal Dungeon. But without a cover. Oh, that might be cool. I don't know. Oh. The Wallace and Gromit series. Curse of the Were Rabbit. Yeah, I'm Project Zoo. Hey, it's Konami. I wonder if up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Uh... Hey, Konami did not make the second one after they realized they flopped on the first one. Okay. Bin number three. Bin number three. Space Invaders. Pfft. It's an awesome game, Yeah, but yeah. it's everywhere. There's probably 30 of them around here. Uh, same with Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Cool game, but whatever. Interesting one in this, and kind of... I don't know what it's if it's valuable or anything, but Star Fox for Atari. So there was a couple consoles here. It was a Sega Genesis. It's actually complete. Of course, we haven't tested it, but it is complete with everything. And it's not in bad shape. Uh, also, Super Nintendo. Again, everything is here for it. We do have everything did come with it. Uh, it's in nice shape. There's very, very little discoloration to it, and uh, what it is is un pretty uniform, right? The yeah. Center that never changes. For, I don't know. Radica. Don't know. I don't know. Never had one before. Super Game Boy adapter for the Super NES. Now we're gonna go through some regular Nintendo. Facts and to do. Turtles 3 Manhattan Project. Of course, Adventures of Link. Yeah. Ultima. Uh, the Battle of Olympus. Star Tropics. 
Mario Duck Hunt. <laughs> Zelda. Ah. Oh. Rad Racer. Good game. I they got the power glove off the guy. Yeah, well, I got Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. <laughs> but I got Excite Bike. Oh, yeah? I got Terminator 2. Uh, Wizards and Warriors. Maybe cheap, but fully to steal. Awesome. Awesome game. What's this one? Uh, Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2. Sweet! Oh, Joust! I got Joust. Thanks. Slid this across the table. Final Fantasy. <laughs> Double Dragon. I don't have it. Well. Now I probably do. At least Genesis. Alright guys, Sega Genesis. We have Andretti Racing. Thunder Force 2. Too bad this wasn't Master System. Oh, wrong game. <laughs> we won't even bother. Holy Field Boxing. <laughs> Galaxy Force 2. X-Men. Oh, box. Outrun 2019. Sparkster. What? Sparkster. Okay. Never heard of it. Konami. Uh, Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Internal Champions. Good yeah. fighting game. Yep, I got that game already. It's pretty cool. Aha! Echo the Dolphin! Yay! Another one! Yay. I don't actually have one. That's funny. Uh, Mortal Kombat, the original. Ooh, Outlander. Can't beat this. Sonic 2, which actually is a really good game regardless. But it's the Sonic 2, not for <gasps> retail. So not for retail one. Jurassic Park, Rampage, Rampage Edition. Dungeons and Dragons. And? And another Sonic 2, not for resale. Not for resale. Oops. And Chicago. <laughs> so Nintendo 64 games. We got uh, Perfect Dark. Mario Party 2. Donkey Kong 64. Zelda Majora's Mask. Nightmare Creatures. Zelda Orca's Time. Seth Park. I hope that's the turkey fight one. Micro Machine 64 Turbo! Ooh. Hey! Command and Conquer. Conquer is bad for a day. Oh, yeah? Mario Kart 64. Oh, yeah? Battle Tank Global Assault. Okay, well. I'll... And it's green. Yeah. Interesting, but Super Smash Bros. Star Fox 64. Ah, the game that started it for almost everybody. 007 Goldeneye. Nice game. Turok. Another great game. Just on crack. Don't look at my crack. We were looking at your crack. Don't look at my crack. Oh, crack. The world was looking at your crack. At least 235 viewers. If they all watch. If they all watch. Otherwise, it everybody's so. going to watch this. Speaking of this, <laughs> so we get down to bin number four. Four. Bin four. Bin four. Bin four. Bin four was kind of a. Um, mishmash of stuff. It was a lot of things thrown in. Uh, we thought it was largely wires and cables because that's what we were told. Uh, there was a couple things that we knew were in here uh, and then there was a couple of surprises. Adapter, power block for uh, Game Gear. Xbox remote control. Actually a nice shape too. Yeah, not bad. Game Genie for a original Nintendo. The PS3 Move. Yep. Camera and, and one. Uh, which is kind of neat, though, nice that was in there is the, the Wii U Pro Controller. So Those are nice. That was nice. I wanted one of those. Capcom nice. Fighting TV. What? A in-box still uh, GameStop controller for the original Xbox. Wired, of course. Brand new. Um, Game Genie? You just did that. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, missing the book. Yeah, just missing the book. <laughs> uh, what else we got? PS2 controller in nice shape. Original PS1 controllers. Pretty good shape. Uh, the big Sega Genesis arcade stick, which is uh, pretty nice. Turbo functions. PlayStation 2 Slim. We have everything for it. That was a surprise that it was in there. Oh, well, wait, before we go any further. No, nope, no game. I checked. <laughs> uh, some StarCraft comics. That's kind of cool. I've never seen StarCraft comics before. A couple of Nintendo, Nintendo Powers, Doom 64. Doom 64? Yeah. Really cool Nintendo Power. Turok 2. Uh, 
We have a dog barking, guys. If you hear the dog barking, don't worry. It's not red alert. That's Yoshi. Yoshi from Liberal. And then there's that. That was the gate for Mario. <laughs> that was he's a puppy still, so he was he was in the kitchen. Now the gate's falling over. Yeah, the pause. Dogs. You can the, talk. The dogs' names are Mario and Yoshi. No joke. That's really cool. I didn't name either. You didn't name either. A little Six. incident with Mario and Yoshi, <laughs> the dogs. Uh, where were we? So this is, you talk about that because I don't know what that is. We don't know what the beep this is. It's a game, I guess, that goes on your phone, whether it be a Android or, or an iPhone. But it's got little figures and stuff in it, and it's like, who cares? You can probably join the rest of this stuff, which is the remainder Slapshot. of Slapshot Hockey. <laughs> Now, one thing we're pretty proud of was the colored controllers that were in here. Yeah, this this was a surprise. We didn't know these were all in here. I saw this one. Like, I saw the corner and I didn't realize that it had the memory card in it. Uh, but also, green and blue. Green, blue, and gray. And all of the centers are centering nice. They're, they're actually pretty good sticks. They're all yeah. in good, good condition. GameCube controller, the same color as the GameCube we got. The second one. The second one. Yeah, the other so, one. We oh, so we got two of them. That's awesome. N64. You common, wait, the uh, expansion pack, and it actually had this really weird rare, hey, let's take our our uh, system and turn it into a uh, coax TV setup. Kind of weird. Have a dusty, faded, semi-scratch. It is faded, eh? Yeah. Yeah. But it is still a Master System. Special edition. Because <laughs> it's faded. Clear Game Boy Advance. Okay guys, there was way too many PlayStation 3 games for us to go this one, this one. So I'm going to do that in another video. So you'll actually see a video of us just rhyming them off quickly. And uh, at this point we got how many games? There is 169 PS3 games in here. And there is some wide variety and some really cool and some really weird games in this. So uh, we just kind of took a quick look through as we were piling them up and counting them. And there was definitely some there, there, there was some cool stuff in here. Yeah, there was definitely some hitters in there, some really cool stuff to play, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, and everything that we looked quick was in really good shape, except, I mean, burr, 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 burr. Undead Nightmares just in a black case. And, oh, and, and Poppy, out. it wants to just jump out. But, uh, yeah, overall, everything's here. Is, everything seems to be complete. We only just randomly open cases here yeah, and there. Blockbuster video. <laughs> That's more valuable, Blockbuster Video. Right, it says right there. So, yeah, so anyway, there's about 169 games, 169, roughly. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go through it all in a, in a different video, which will be coming in the next couple days. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to bin number six. Six, yeah, this was six. bin five. This was all one bin. Bin so, five. Actually, bin number six. Bin number six. So you can see the PS3 in behind. We're just out of, about out of ping pong table space. Uh, we filled the entire ping pong table, and it's not just flatly laid out, it's yeah, stacked we, pretty good. We stacked it to have room, and I'm actually shocked this ping pong table is still standing. Shh, don't tempt fate. <laughs> don't tempt it. We got 169 PS3 games. 169. 169. We just pulled out the Xbox 360 games, and we had... 141 Xbox 360 games. 141. 141. 310 games 310 between two bins. Games. So we definitely was well over five, yeah. or roughly about 500 games. Yeah, 500 so, games. Yeah, so close to 500 games on this pickup. Again, this is our biggest pickup ever. Definitely. Uh, def definitely. It doesn't matter what we paid or whatever, because we have paid more picking up like really expensive things. But this is the first time we've actually had this type of quantity. And you can see there's a lot of stuff here. And we're not even showing you the knickknack cables and the stupid yeah. stuff and fan coolers and whatever other stuff there, little yeah, stuff like there was. Over half a bin of other stuff that we just kind of threw back into, the, oh, and the Atari stuff, we didn't really. And the Atari stuff, yeah, we just kind of left it out. That was more for him. So guys, um, we're not gonna go through these games in this video because this video is already long enough. Sure. I gotta do a lot of editing and fixing on this one. Um, we've probably done 20 takes. So we're gonna do a Somebody Xbox. Somebody messing up. It might be me. Or me. So we're going to do a pickups video on like we did on the, uh, like I said, we were going to do on the PS3 ones. 
and we're going to also do a call out on the Xbox 360 games. So that video will follow in a few days as well. So guys, thank you. Thanks for sitting through this. I hope you guys thought there was some really cool stuff here. Hey, and comment below because me and Jeff, we love reading the comments. Yeah. Uh, it, it's fun. I love communicating with you guys. Let us know what you think. Did we, are we crazy? Did we do good? Are we nuts? And if anybody knows what that little Nintendo plastic thing was for, I just want to remind you again of... It looks like a uh, Nintendo pull tag. Forget it. But it's not the common one I see for the N64. So if anybody knows what that little white thing is, we showed it in the beginning of the video, uh, please let us know. Thank you. And until next time, guys, please like, share, tell all your friends about us. Sharing's caring. Until next time, game over.